970A-UD3 motherboard for my AMD processor. I am running a FX6300. It is normally clocked at, uh, I believe, 3.5 gigahertz. Um, I have overclocked it to 4.2 gigahertz. Um, as you will see, there's a red uh, message that pops up that says system voltage is not optimized. Um, that is more of a warning message than um, an error message. So uh, what that means is basically you're overclocking your system, the motherboard recognizes that, and it wants you to optimize uh, certain voltages on the board in order to run properly at those uh, megahertz that you're going to overclock your processor to. So I have uh, adjusted just the RAM down here um, to 1.5 volts because that's what my memory uh, recommends I run it at. I would just check with the manufacturer and see what yours is set to. Um, it should say on the box or if not go to Newegg or Amazon and they should have the stats there for the memory. And then uh, down here, so here's my multiplier. I'm running 21 by 10 for my processor and uh, you just do simple math basically and that gives you 4200. Um, I've disabled the performance boost. You do not want that enabled. Um, it'll it'll uh, really mess up your overclocks. And then I've changed the host clock control to manual, and um, I've that allows you basically. If I change this to auto, it's gonna kind of blue everything out, and it won't let me change these settings down here. So I've uh, changed it to manual, and this lets me set my frequency of what I want for my front side bus. Basically, I changed that to 200. Um, and then uh, I locked in my PCIe at 100. That's just kind of standard what I've always done. Um, and then I've kept these at auto. Uh, I disabled this option, and uh, to be honest, I forget what it does. Um, but I have disabled that. Um, the set memory clock, a lot of people actually set that to manual. And then they come in here to your DRAM configuration and change all these timings. They come into manual and change all these timings as well. Uh, I've changed these to manual, as you can tell. And I've changed it 200 to match what my processor is running as well. And uh, I adjusted all these timings here. So I have, you know, 2, 9, 9, 9, and 24. And those are also uh, what my manufacturer told me to run at. Um, as you'll notice up top, you see the 6.66 multiplier but, um, gives you 1333 megahertz. My memory is actually rated at um, 1600, but it doesn't hurt to run lower. Um, you won't notice a performance difference, and to be honest, the higher you overclock, I found at least with my memory, if I change that, which is, I'm just hitting escape, it's at that first screen here. If I was to set this to manual, I could change these settings right here and I could change it to 1600 but it won't boot successfully um, so this is what's worked for me on this particular board um, so there's a 1.5 volt I was saying for the memory and I locked that in everything else is just these normal settings come with the board manufacturer and then here the CPU voltage control that's the only other thing I've had to change on this screen so um, if you hit enter It'll show you what normal is, which is way down here, and I am all the way up here. So um, I'm at 1.50. So I've upped it quite a bit, um, and it's run pretty stable at that. I prime 95'd it. Um, my only concern is this is at idle at 4.2 gigahertz. The CPU temperature is at 42 to 43. When I put it to stock at 3.6 is what I do instead of 3.5, um, it's running around 40 to 41. So I'm not seeing actual huge temperature increase right now. But when I run Prime 95, um, this temperature shows 42 here. And I'll go into Windows because it shows a lot cooler when I go into Windows. And it's hard for me to tell which one's actually you know, legit. Um, the other thing I don't like about this motherboard, or maybe I just don't know where it's at, is see how it's all blued out? I jumped between here. I can't change that fan speed. I wish I could up that to 100% all the time. Um, 
Other than that, the only other setting I changed is this integrated peripherals. Um, I had to change it to AHCI on this board for my SSD uh, hard drive. I'm running a Vertex 4 and uh, then I changed this to IDE. I don't know why I had to change it to that and because you have two options. You get as SATA type or IDE but it runs well on IDE so um, that's the only other thing I've changed on that screen. Um, advanced BIOS I did disable. These are basically all the green features a lot of people refer to them as. It basically um, downclocks your processor if it's not in use. And since we're overclocking, uh, I want to get tested benchmarks. I want to disable all of these. So these are all on um, enabled, or I think actually they're all set to auto when you have the board. So you have to change all of these settings. Um, and then these are just your standard settings, obviously, and uh, you can change anything around like on a normal motherboard, so I'm not going to go into detail on that. Um, that's pretty much it. So here, we'll run into Windows. I'll save it. Like I said, I'm running at 4.2 gigahertz on the FX6300. It boots fairly quickly. Um, you know, probably takes 12 seconds or so. I haven't actually timed it, but it's it's fairly quick. So there we go. I'm going to run a couple monitoring programs. Um, this is will show you basically what my um, temps are. So I have a folder called overclocking and I have a couple things in there. So let me, I'm going to move the camera here. Um, bear with me, sorry about that. So if you look right here down the bottom it's saying my CPU is running at 28 degrees. I don't believe that. It said it was 42 degrees Celsius at startup using the BIOS. So that isn't right. Um, okay, so that's using core temp. A lot of people use CPU Z so um, that's launching as you can tell. Uh, again, I gotta move the camera, but I'll zoom in here. Um, so there's my processor. And if we come down here, it shows, oops, sorry. It shows it's running at 4.2. Okay, so. I haven't changed anything, everything's the same. Now let me run a program called HWinfo64. This one gives you a bunch of information. A bunch of sensors basically that are on your motherboard and it uh, monitors them. It takes a little bit to load, even at this fast of a speed. Uh, the interesting thing I have found is my brother's i7, his launches that really, really quickly. My AMD seems to take a little bit for whatever reason. Um, so here's a motherboard temp here. I know it's hard to see, so again, let me zoom. Uh, I'm on a tripod, so sorry about it being shaky and having to get a weird angle. But right there, it shows 37 degrees. And uh, most programs. It shows like TPN1, TPN2, and TPN3. I'm assuming that um, motherboard is TPN1, CPU on this program is TPN2, and uh, temperature 3 is whatever it is. I have no idea. Um, but I would go by this software and say that's probably pretty accurate. We were seeing 42 in the BIOS. And here on the software using HWinfo64, it's showing 
39 degrees Celsius and this is at idle um, so this is the best program I found like I said I'm getting you know 30 um, 9 here as you can tell okay and then let's come over here it's saying 27 okay this program also has this is uh, HW info again it also has a, a one that looks close so this one's 27.3 sorry for the shakiness guys um, see there 27.3 so I don't know the difference. I don't know if they're two different sensors, where it's getting that temp from, but that's that's drastic, right? I have 27.3 on my CPU there. If you come down here, it shows 39. So pretty big difference. Um, and I don't want to run Prime 95 on 4.2 for a very long time. I've done it successfully for about 20 minutes, but I don't really want to um, run it longer until I get better cooling because I only have one intake fan and then the, the fan that comes stock on the um, Hyper 212 Plus, that's the um, air cooler I'm running. And uh, I have three more fans on order, uh, probably just be another week, so I'm not going to do any extreme overclocking until I get better cooling. But uh, if anybody has any ideas, uh, what temp is right is if it's this one or this one um, I'd really like to know be, so I, when I uh, start overclocking I can watch the correct temperature and go from there uh, thanks guys